Okay, so where are we with this experiment? So, um, what have we got here? We have got Prince Harry and Meghan at risk of losing their Netflix gig. Sky News Australia. Um, I have not bothered to um to 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 listen to the video it's on mute for a reason because i don't really want to fill my head with all of the negativity that inevitably will be spewed from the oral cavities of these haters right oral cavities of haters spew hate and spew, you know, bad vibes, bad luck, bad intentions, bad words, bad predictions, you know. And the thing is that, um, you know, I'd rather think about elephants <laughs> than fill my head with their bile. So I, you know, I have a channel where I talk about Harry and Meghan so obviously I have to sort of do research and see what's being said out there, who's talking, what are they talking about. But I don't always have to actually listen. And I don't actually have to even learn the names of these people. I can just focus on elephants instead, you know, <laughs> whatever that randomly means. Listen, I have, what is it? Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are at risk of losing their Netflix deal if their upcoming shows on the streaming channel flop. Well, look, I mean, I think that's not a huge news flash and prediction. Netflix is a business. They are not a charitable organization. They are a for-profit business. And they enter into contracts and deals with people who they believe can make money for them, right? So it's like Meghan and Harry make money. Netflix makes money. Everybody is happy. If, ne if Harry and Meghan, as well as any other contractors that Netflix may enter into contracts with and not bringing in the money and if their their business is flopping then obviously um you know Netflix has to um to make some adjustments I would think right I'm having my lunch <laughs> as I speak I've had like I don't even want to I don't want to talk about how many bags of these I've had for the morning okay Terrible, terrible. Um, so the thing is, though, to, to bring this back to professionalism, is that, um, you know, hopefully Harry and Meghan's projects will make money. I mean, I think that you know, the Harry and Meghan docuseries made a lot of money. I don't think Netflix has ever had any other docuseries that performed as well it's business once again so they make money Netflix makes money everyone's happy and hopefully that will continue to be the case you know where their shows make money I have no reason to believe that their shows won't make money I mean you know I, I think that um, you know I think that their shows always make money. People are very interested in Harry and Meghan. Even if it's to hate watch the show, it's still eyeballs, right? It's still ratings. It still counts, you know. And, um, you know, these experts, you know, these experts on Meghan, these, these Meghan spurts, these are Meghan spurts because really, they hate Harry because they hate Meghan so much and they hate his pick in a woman and they feel that it should have been them instead. And they even paste their faces on top of Meghan's to say, well, it should have been me because, you know, I just look the part. So, you know, even if they are, you know, spurting their hate and their predictions that are of doom and gloom for this couple, I mean, people will still watch you know, whether they're hating, watching in hate or watching in love. And I think more people will watch in love than those who will watch in hate, frankly. I can't wait. I don't have Netflix anymore. I am going to have to re-up my Netflix to see Megan's cooking show because I don't know what I'm going to do if I can't see that. 
Um, and so, you know, I think it will perform well, but there's no question that these Megan spurts are hoping for the worst. They're trying to talk the worst into reality, right? They're trying to talk it into being because words have power and words have wings and they know that, you know, so they're trying to talk it into being you know, with this constant and relentless fixation on the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, you know, everything they do. I mean, we haven't even seen them except, you know, we saw them maybe once in the last several weeks or, or a couple of months. But it's just, if there's nothing, you create something. If there's nothing, you create a story like they did with the ESPY Awards. There was a, this was a non-story that turned into a story because they need so much to spew their hatred because that is revenue. That is currency. That's money for them. Listen, you guys, oh, I am really tired of all this nonsense. Why is there a Christmas thing on my desk? I don't know. It's not my desk. Um, you know what? I think the owner said that she keeps it that way so she doesn't have to re-up it every year. <laughs> Which was funny because in my apartment um, where I live, I've kept off my tree and I've decided I'm never taking my tree down again, you know, but, you know, anyway, I digress as, as per usual. You guys, I have to go. I've got a lot of work to do and, um, you know, I just wanted to update my channel with this video today. Um, thank you for listening. If you got to the end of it, give me a thumbs up. And if you're not following, consider it because I, you know, I would be happy to have you on board. Of course, I know I'm completely not the norm on YouTube. Like, I mean, I'm all over the place. I, I just, it's just like, it's so me to be that way. <laughs> I'm unique. You know, I just, am not like anybody else. And it's just, it's hilarious sometimes. And it's, you know, it's concerning at other times. But listen, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for listening. Give me a thumbs up. Leave comments. I love your comments, even though I haven't been responding lately, just because I don't have time, actually. Things are a little bit complicated. I hope things will, you know, settle soon, but they're not settled. And so I read them. I smile. I say thank you to those who leave comments because they're all mostly positive at this point because I've blocked all the haters. Well, for the most part. So leave me a comment so I know you're still there. I love you very much. I appreciate you very much. And see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.